Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss how to compute the quartiles, deciles, and percentiles for group data. So yung formula na gagamit natin dito, first, L plus the quantity of K times N over I minus the uh, cumulative frequency over the frequency times the class width. So again, so yung L natin is the lower boundary. And N is the total number of observations or the total frequency. And CW is the class width or the class size. And CF, this is the cumulative frequency before the class of the quartile class or the decile class and the percentile class. Pag kinukuha natin. And this one is the frequency of the class. And uh, yung I, magbabago lang yan depende sa hinahanap. Let's say, for example, uh, ang kukunin natin is quartile. So, yung I natin is over 4. And kapag decile naman, so yung I natin ay magiging 10. And then, percentile kapag, uh, kapag percentile naman yung hinahanap natin, so yung I natin is over 100. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin for quartile, decile, and percentile for group data. Okay, consider this problem. So, find the first quartile, 7th decile, 95th percentile of the height of 40 students of grade 10 class. So, given na yung class limits natin and then yung corresponding frequency nila. So, kapag ined natin itong frequency natin, dapat 40. So, ang kakailanganin lang natin pag nagko-compute tayo, ng quartile, decile, and percentile for group data, yung lower bound and then the cumulative frequency. So, una, kunin muna natin yung lower boundary ng bawat classes. Okay? So, paano ba natin kinukuha yung lower boundary? So, kinukuha natin sa lower limit natin. So, ito yung lower limit natin. And then, after that, so, paano ulit kinukuha? Binabawasan natin ng 0.5 yung lower limit natin. So, ito, so si 118 maging 117.5. So, 127 maging 126.5. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin kay 136 to 172. So, babawasan natin ng 0 0.5. Okay. Next is, okay, so after natin makuha yung lower boundary, kukunin natin ngayon yung cumulative frequency nila. So, paano natin kinukuha yung cumulative frequency? So, unan yung munang gagawin class, titingnan yung muna kung saan nag-start yung class limit natin, kung sa taas ba or sa baba. So, sa case na to, nag-start yung class limits natin sa taas. So, dito rin tayo mag start ng cumulative frequency sa taas. Kung nag-start kayo sa baba, pataas, so dapat dito rin kayo mag-start. Sa baba rin kayo magsisimula kapag kukunin nyo na yung cumulative frequency. So, since sa taas tayo nag-start dito, so dito rin tayo mag-start. So, paano natin ginagawa yon? So, yung una natin frequency, that is 3. So, 3 yung starting natin, no? So, 3 din. Then, after that, para makuha natin yung susunod na cumulative frequency, ito i-add natin dun sa kasunod na frequency. So, 3 plus 5, that is 8. Then, 8 plus 9, 17. 17 plus 12, 20, 29. 29 plus 5, that is 34. 34 plus 4, that is 38. And 38 plus 2, that is 40. Okay, so ganyan natin kinukuha yung cumulative frequency. Ngayon, paano, uh, unahin na natin yung first quartile. Okay, using the formula. So, pap, una munang gagawin class ay kunin natin ito yung k times n over i. Kasi siya yung magdedetermine kung saan na, napapabilang yung first quartile natin. So, saan dito yung uh, quartile class natin. Okay, so. So, k times n, so yung k natin dito is yung uh, number ng position natin. So, since 1, or yung first quartile, so yung k natin dyan 1. Kapag uh, ang hinahanap, second quartile, so yung k nyo dito ay 2. And then kapag quart uh, third quartile, yung k nyo dyan is 3. And then since quartile nga, yung una natin kukunin, so yung i natin is 4. Okay? 
Kapag decimal yung hinahanap, so maging over 10 ito. So, 1 times 40, that is 40. 40 divide 4, the answer is 10. So, para saan ba ito yung 10 na to? So, again, siya yung una natin kukunin para ma-determine natin dito kung saan napapabilang yung uh, first quartile natin. So, saan classes dito napapabilang yung first quartile natin? So, after natin makuha, ito yung uh, sagot natin sa KN over I. So, saan natin titingnan para ma-determine natin yung uh, class kung saan napapabilang sa first quartile. So, dito tayo titingin sa cumulative frequency. So, sa cumulative frequency, dito tayo titingin. Okay? So, 10 yan. So, saan kaya uh, magpo-fall yung 10 natin? Kay 3 ba? 8, 17. So, hindi tayo pwede kay 3 kasi ibig sabihin hanggang 3 pa lang yan. Si 8, so hanggang 8 pa lang yan. So, dito tayo kay 17. So, ibig sabihin... Uh, sa first quartile ay nasa 136 to 144. Okay. Uh, again, yun muna ang unang yung gagawin class. Kahit uh, ano yung i-compute nyo, dapat kunin nyo muna ito para ma-determine nyo kung saan class mapapa napapabilang kung ano yung kinukompute natin. So, once na nakuha na natin at na-determine, na-identify na nyo na kung saan class kabilang, so, makakuha na natin yung ibang uh, kakailanganin natin sa formula. Okay? So, bakit 17? Ulitin ko lang, bakit 17? Okay, since 10 yung na-compute natin, so, hindi siya pwede kay 3, hindi rin siya pwede kay 8. Kasi, si, uh, ibig sabihin nung 8, hanggang 8 pa lang yan. So, wala pa si 10 dyan. So, dito siya sa 17. Okay? Next is, the cumulative frequency. So, paano natin kinukuha yung cumulative frequency dito? Ang pagkuha ng cumulative frequency class, yung before uh, the quartile class. Okay? Yung cumulative frequency before the quartile class. So, ito yung quartile class natin. So, yung bago dumating yung quartile class. Okay? So, kung dito kayo nag-start yung ng cumulative frequency, so, nandito sa taas yung CF na kukunin nyo. Pero kapag dito kayo sa baba, nag-start... So, nandito sa baba, dito dapat yung uh, kukunin yung CF. Okay? So, again, ang pagkuha ng cumulative frequency ay yung before the quartile class. Next, since na-identify na natin kung saan class kabilang yung first quartile, so, makukuha na natin yung lower boundary natin, that is 135.5. And then, yung frequency natin, 9. And then, yung class width or yung class size. So, paano kinukuha yung class width or yung class size natin? So, yung second lower limit natin, ima-minus natin sa unang lower limit. So, 127 minus 118, the answer is 9. So, yung class width natin is 9. So, ito yung kakailanganin natin para dito sa formula na to. So, substitute lang natin. So, yung lower boundary natin is 135.5 plus... Yung KN, so ito yung KN over I, that is 10, minus yung CF natin is 8, over what? Uh, the frequency, yung value ng frequency natin is 9, times 9. So, 10 minus 8, that is 2, 2 over 9 times 9, the answer is 2. 2 plus 135.5, the answer is 137.5. Ibig sabihin, yung first quartile natin is 137.5. Next. Okay, yung ano natin. Okay, yung kukunin natin is yung 6 decile. So, yung 6 decile naman yung kukunin natin. So, after nito, okay, so, anong unang gagawin ulit? Yung KN over I. So, yun, yun palagi yung uunahin yung class. Okay, kukumpitin nyo muna ito. So, yung K natin dito is 6 kasi 6 decile. And then, yung I na natin dito 10. Okay, tatandaan natin. So, magbabago yung I natin depende sa hinahanap nyo. So, 6 times 40, that is 240, divide 10. So, the answer is 24. And after that, kukunin natin, titingnan natin dito sa cumulative frequency kung saan pasok si 24. So, sa 3 ba? Okay. Sa 3 ba? Sa 8? 
or sa 17. So sa 17, wala pa siya dyan. Kasi hanggang 17 pa lang yan. So saan siya papasok? Dito sa 29. So ibig sabihin, yung 6 uh, decel natin, pasok siya sa 145 to 153. Okay? Na class interval natin. So makukuha na natin yung ibang kakailanganin natin sa formula. So yung CF natin dito, or yung cumulative frequency is 17. And then, the lower boundary is 144.5. The frequency is 12. Okay? And same yung class width natin, that is 9. So, substitute lang natin sa formula. So, 144.5 plus, so yung nakuha natin na ito, that is 24, minus yung CF natin, 17. Okay? Over 12. Kasi yung frequency natin is 12 times 9. So, 24 minus 17, the answer is 7. 7 divided 12 times 9. Again, 7 divided 12 times 9, the answer is 5.25. 5.25 plus 144.5, the answer is 149.75. Ibig sabihin yan, yung 6 decimal natin dito is 149.75. Okay. Next, uh, kukunin naman natin yung 95 percentile natin. Okay, yung 95 percentile natin. So, again, dun ulit tayo mag-start sa KN over I. So, yung K natin dito, papalitan natin ng 95. So, sa substitute natin yung K natin, so, ah, yung 95 sa K natin. So, 95 times 40, and then yung I natin, 100 na since percentile na ito. So, over 100. 95 times 40, that is 3,800. Divide 100, the answer is 38. So, 38. So, tingnan natin sa CF natin kung saan uh, magpo-fall yung 38 natin. So, since exacto na meron 38 dito, so hindi mo na kailangan tingnan. So, 38, so iyan na mismo. Dito na mismo yung uh, class kabilang yung 95 percentile natin. So, that is sa interval, sa class interval na 163 to 171. So, kunin na natin yung ibang kailanganin natin. So, yung cumulative frequency natin dito is 34. And then, uh, the lower boundary is 162.5 and uh, the frequency is 4, the class width is 9. So, substitute sa formula. So, lower boundary, 162.5 plus yung KN over I, that is 38, minus yung CF natin, 34, divided by the frequency, that is 4. So, 38 minus 34, the answer is 4. 4 divide 4, 1 times 9, so that is, again, 4 divide 4, okay, so 4 divide 4 is 1 times 9, that is 9. So 9 plus 162.5, the answer is 171.5. So ibig sabihin yung 95 percentile natin is 171.5. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.